Bernie Sanders is out of the race. And you got a few higher ups from his campaign rushing to form a super PAC. Yes, the progressives who were running Bernie's campaign now want to form a super PAC. A super PAC dedicated to convincing progressives to vote for Joe Biden. You can't make this up. You really can't. So, former aides to Bernie Sanders form a super PAC to support Joe Biden. Wow. So, Mr. Sanders' 2016 campaign manager and another architect of the 2016 bid are joining together in an effort to rally progressive support for the former vice president ahead of the November election. Basically meaning that they're sellouts. That's, that's what it means, okay? And, and I mean, the... The former goddamn campaign manager. I mean, you can't make this up. Uh. So, Jeff Weaver, who served as Mr. Sanders' campaign manager in 2016 and as a top advisor in 2020, is leading the effort, right, which, will, which will focus on mobilizing the base of Sanders supporters, young people, liberals, Latinos, and blue-collar progressives for Mr. Biden. Let me ask you guys just real quick. <laughs> Let me ask you guys. Does this excite you? Are you excited to vote for Joe Biden because Jeff Weaver started a super PAC? I'm sure you're so enthusiastic, right? You're ecstatic. Can't wait. <laughs> Other top Sanders officials from the 2020 race who will be involved include Chuck Rocha, a senior advisor who focused on Latino outreach, Tim Tagaris, who oversaw digital strategy and fundraising, and Shelly Jackson, a California strategist for the campaign. Mark Longabaugh, who worked for Mr. Sanders in 2016, but left the 2020 campaign early on, is also part of the new group. This is in complete contradiction of everything they were running on. I mean, it's one thing to say, I want to support Joe Biden and the war criminal rapist, and then it's also another thing to say, I'm going to go and form a super PAC now. What? Or is it really another thing, since you fell in line behind someone who's diametrically opposed to Sanders? Not really, is it? <laughs> it's fucking sellouts, man. Fucking sellouts. These are the people who are running Bernie's campaign. Look how quickly, all of a sudden, whoop, get behind Biden. Make a super PAC. Let's go. Not just one of them. This is the top brass. My goodness. Wow, wow, wow. The senator is not supportive of super PACs. He is not supportive of this super PAC, Mr. Weaver said in an interview Tuesday. He certainly would prefer we had not done it through a super PAC, he added. Each of us has to make our own decision about how to move forward. <laughs> oh, what a joke. And you know what they called it as well? They called it Future to Believe in PAC, which is basically stealing Bernie Sanders' slogan from 2016. Oh, they're rubbing it in. Adding insult to injury. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> God, they have no spine. They're so terrible. They're so terrible. It, it, it's really awful, and this is this isn't the only this isn't the only issue that we have with with Weaver. Okay, so we have another surrogate from the Bernie Sanders campaign who called out his behavior during the 2020 run. Take a look at what he said. Okay, so this is from from Jamal Green. All right, I was surrogate traveling with Bernie both campaigns. Jeff Weaver was campaign manager last election against Hillary. Campaign made a million mistakes. They didn't learn from them because Weaver came back as senior advisor. Bernie didn't trust Fies like he does Weaver. Sickening. Fies fell in line behind whatever Weaver said because he didn't know how to run a major campaign. That's why Weaver speaks every time there's major news, and Weaver writes up every press statement. He's Bernie's mouthpiece and secretly ran him into the ground. And he also talks a bit about how Weaver made sure that they didn't invest in black media, that they didn't bother... Uh, doing voter outreach to African-American supporters in Mississippi. I mean, he sabotaged the campaign internally, essentially. That's what he did. I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out that this guy is counterintelligence. I really wouldn't. If you've studied Cold War, if you've uh, studied counterintelligence, you know, they would send people into Marxist movements, feminist movements, black rights movements, to sabotage those campaigns and those parties and those movements. Smear them, uh, spread rumors, say that someone is stealing money, anything to sow dissent. So I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is, you know, COINTEL Pro. I really wouldn't. And it's, it's not a conspiracy theory. Go and learn your fucking history, you 
dumb motherfucker. You want to bury your head in the sand? Go ahead, okay? I don't have time for your fucking ignorant shit. So that's one thing. That's one, that's one avenue. But at the same time, it's like, why the hell is he surrounding himself with someone like Jeff Weaver twice? Isn't he the boss at the end of the day? Isn't he calling the shots at the end of the day? I don't know. I, I don't understand this. I really don't. I really don't understand this. And, um, I mean, I think it's a bit of both. I think it's a bit of both. You know, these people, they're not stupid. They study you. Uh, they know if they can push you around, how much they can push you around, what they can do. You know, Bernie, he's saying Joe Biden is a friend of mine. Wouldn't be surprised if Weaver okayed that a couple of times. <laughs> you know, Jamal Green, he also states that, yeah, every time the issue was brought up that Bernie should go harder against Biden, Weaver would say no. Play it safe. Be diplomatic. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. At the end of the day, I, I, I don't want you to get it twisted, okay? Don't get it twisted, man. At the end of the day, they all play on the same team, all right? Even if Bernie Sanders hadn't run for president, he would still be voting for that stimulus package. He, he'd still be falling in line. Do you understand? This is an issue. And it's not just him. It's the whole environment in Washington, D.C. It's that whoever you send there, they just get stonewalled. There's pressure applied on them. It's not enough that they don't take uh, donations from lobbyists. Yeah, that's great. Okay, but that doesn't mean, you know, just because you're uncorruptible, supposedly, doesn't mean that you can't be pressured. There's other ways to pressure you. And maybe that's what's happening, right? So you can't rely on Washington, D.C. I told you this before. Don't let your movement hinge on one person. And it's not just Weaver, right? It's, it's Chuck Roach as well. All these top brass in the campaign going and, and helping Biden now. Just, oh, it's so disgusting. It really is. What a fucking disappointment. So yeah, Bernie made no comment about it. And that's it.